Today we have uh, Tassin Shabab from Bibu Labs. Tassin, welcome. Thank you very much, Brian, and thank you for having me here in your show. All right, thank you. And so can you quickly introduce yourself and uh, who you are and what you do? Sounds good. Yeah, I'm Taysin Shabab. I'm the founder of Bibu Labs. Bibu Labs is a cybersecurity startup mm -hmm. uh, which incubated from the University of Waterloo. And I, I'm a graduate from the University of Waterloo. I did my electric, electrical engineering there. And upon graduation, I've been a cybersecurity consultant for firms like uh, IBM, large, a large bank in Canada, mm -hmm. a Fortune 60 telecommunication firm in the US and North American government and more. Okay. Also, I was the lead developer of a, a leading application security cloud solution called uh, AppScan Source on Cloud, which is used by many Fortune 500 firms. Oh, wow. And we then decided to start the, our current venture, which is called Bibu Labs. And we have a couple of University of Waterloo professors on board on the team as advisors. Okay, very interesting. So you started with uh, like a lots of large company on the cybersecurity field, on the development side and on the consulting side, and then you move to AI, like uh, machine learning, and also combine those two together, start your own uh, practice and a company. Yes, so thank you very much, Brian. So that is uh, an interesting uh, shift in events which happened in my life. So this happened in 2016. Uh, again, I come from an electrical engineering background, so I was following AI myself, and I uh, quickly grasped the math behind it. Mm -hmm. But then there was a time when I was in, noticing a lot of sensors all throughout enterprise clients, and you have a lot of uh, scanners and tools, and there, there are a lot of challenges which could be solved by AI, mm -hmm. in which case I decided to quit my full-time consulting uh, practice at a very large organization, and then I s decided to audit uh, a semester at UFT, so the professors were very hospitable to uh, uh, a Waterloo grad at UFD yeah. uh, taking their courses. But uh, through that experience, I learned more about the field. And uh, I had conversations with some professors. And through my own research, just merged uh, the two fields together. Okay. And um, yeah. that's the, that was the initial, very initial inception. Wow. So you, you saw the opportunity in AI and also look at your previous experience in cybersecurity. Then you decide to merge those two things together and also taking some entrepreneurship <laughs> like a roadmap. There. Oh, yeah. So again, uh, w w which is a great, great perspective. So I guess from a subconscious perspective, um, uh, coming from the industry, cybersecurity is uh, my passion. and. And a lot of the challenges could be solved by AI, which I was doing research on. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we we got into uh, a, a program, online program by Y Combinator called Startup Schools. So oh, okay. We we got uh, three months mentorship through that program mm -hmm. uh, to better understand the entrepreneurial aspect uh, of the business. Right. And then going forward, we got into Waterloo's incubator space. So we were there for for almost a year. Yeah. And now we're at uh, Mars. Oh, the Mars. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So a couple of stage, right? So when you started, you took a Y Combinator, which is a quite famous the, the, incubator. Their, their, yeah. their online cohort is right. called Startup School. Right. Yes. And then we were at Velocity, which is uh, I, uh, Waterloo's incubator space for, for a year. It was a great place to better understand the business aspect of okay. the game. And then now we are in Toronto at, at Mars. Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, in... Bibu Labs, so the company you are running right now. Yes. So you targeted, I guess, the target, uh, the focus problem is uh, cybersecurity and use AI to, to solve the cybersecurity problems? Yes. So um, uh, through our experience, we have identified a number of challenges within uh, cybersecurity, and uh, we primarily focus on the problems faced by analysts in security operation centers. Okay. So we want to change how analysts uh, work with their, with, with their tools. Oh, that's, okay. that's on a very high level, and we have uh, worked on some AI algorithms which could completely change the way they the game perform their work. Things. Yes, okay. And we focus on certain problems, one of which includes uh, analyst stress, fatigue, and, and some others. Because analysts are people, right? So they're human. <laughs> uh, 100% they're right. we humans, and we have been there as well as consultants. Um, we, we, we go through a large number of data, like, uh, right. like uh, vulnerabilities and uh, various events. Right. Uh, and we have to coordinate all that information. There's so many ways that could be improved. Okay. And on a very high level, we're in that niche. Oh, wow. So you're applying AI to resolve not only cybersecurity problem, but the people's problem, I guess. A hundred percent. Again, as you know, we've been in the field for a while. We understand the problems faced by 
uh, our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. and in that regard we we feel like we're the best to solve the problem okay and we have top professors on board as well we're exceptionally talented and um, we're leveraging the best we can find in Canada. Wow, I'm really looking forward to learn some details because we have the, a serious topic in today and to, to really take a little bit of deep diving for the AI side and the talent side and the, uh, maybe your uh, entrepreneurship roadmap things. So I really look forward to learn more. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much, Brian, for having me here. And I, I look forward to sharing bits uh, and pieces of my experience. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.